What's up guys? NW Outdoors. Welcome back. Got another episode for you guys today. I got a special one. I'm pretty excited. We're going to try to do two different locations today in the same video. Same day I should say. We're going to go after some perch right now. We are at Asylum Bay, my favorite other spot. Um, I've never tried, I guess you'd say post-spawn perch, but they might still be working on the spawn. Um, I've never tried perch in April on the lake, so we're going to give it a go. Uh, there's no docking yet, so this might be a little interesting. Should be able to get it. We've got a little bit of a strong southeast wind that's blowing right into my spot. So we're going to see what we can come up with, but uh, the, the plan is to try here for a while, see if we can get on some perch, and then we're going to fly over to the river somewhere near Fremont and see if we can't pick up some walleyes using some custom tackle. Water's Edge custom tackle, to be specific. So stay tuned. Awesome video ahead. Let's go. What a night. Yes. Boom! That's a nice eight point. Holy baloney! <laughs> Boom! Look at that. Jumbo. around already. Final seconds of the day. It's a beautiful day though. I think it's about to reach 70 today. Maybe about 68. Saturday, April 13th. Can't believe how fast time is flying. But we got one. The spot is not far. It's still just right in the bay of the asylum here. We're going to start in about uh, six, seven feet. We're going to try to find that weed line and we're gonna just work our way out. It might be bouncy, guys. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. <laughs> we'll see how well it goes. Two fish in one day, two species in one day, two different bodies of water. Well, same system, but two spots, 45 minutes apart. Let's go! Electronics going based on my uh, app on my Navion on the phone, Navionics app. I think this is better than any. We're gonna face the wind, drop an anchor in, do a slip over, and two over to side with the drop shot. Let's go. All right, guys, we're here. Again, I apologize for any of the rocking. So it's April 13th today, February 25th. I was in here on ice, putting a clinic on some jumbos, and I was using minnows. So, I got the same bait, we're going to try to replicate that. I got some perch size emerald shiners. And we're going to hook it right in the back. Drop shot, about uh, eight to ten inches to my weight. Deployment. Now, just reel it tight. That weight's just sitting there. There's bottom. Reel it up. That's it, right there. I'm set. 
I got it painted fire tiger. Then I got that inch and a half in scuff bait on there. That looks deadly. That's basically just gonna kind of pop this along the bottom. We're not really in uh, a harder bottom yet. We're still kind of in some muck. We're on the edge of the weeds. About another probably 20, 30 yards back behind me is some weeds. All right, guys, it's been all of 10 minutes. We need to make a move. This is, uh, fish aren't here. We're back, guys, spot two. So I broke down and put a small worm on one of the drop shots. We're gonna see if that makes a difference. Still got a minnow on the other one. We, uh, we moved out to about nine feet. Eight, nine feet. We were at about seven. Six, seven. Every time. I love my motor. What's up guys? We're back spot three. What's up guys? So obviously the perch panfish end of things didn't turn out the way I'd like so here we are Fremont Wolf River. It's like pretty quiet to be honest with you. I thought it'd be packed. So let's hop in and see what we can make make happen. It's about uh, 6 six thirty, about an hour. Let's go!
rapid. Are you kidding me? Even though there's King of the River. Final seconds of the day. We got one. It's in that mouth. Big old rattle jig. Look at that mouth. Rattle jig. Let's go. Beautiful fish. Time to go home. Show you some white. Rattle J. Let's go. NW Outdoors, thanks for watching guys.